Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to learn a stitch pattern today and boy this is a very very nice stitch pattern. This one is called triangle stitch pattern. As you see through these rows, these symbolize triangles. Um, these are, they're very simple. I worked this up in less than two minutes. I very, very, very much love this pattern. Um, it grows very quickly. Uh, depending on the type of crocheter you are, though, um, depends on how fast your project's going to grow. Now, um, I I'm going to demonstrate this piece in yarn that I am actually going to continue to work up into a scarf for myself. So I'm going to use a specialty yarn that I have purchased from my local knittery here the blue hair and knittery um, because I have I, I love this stitch pattern so much that I'm actually going to continue a pattern for myself so yay um, but this to me is a very 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 uh, textured and beautiful stitch um, even my daughter Emily loves this stitch she thought it was really nice but um, I'm going to teach you how to do this and it's just simply called triangles um, stitch pattern so um, I hope you enjoy it and once you get the hang of this one it is very very simple and it works up very quickly so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to change my size of a hook and what I'm going to do is the yarn that I'm using this is my label it is from Universal Yarns it is classic worsted tapestry yarn and the color that I'm going to use is called uh, Sunrise and this is the color isn't that beautiful of course it's got teal in it guys you know I'm going to use teal but um, my ball started unraveling on me um, it's got like a little bit of uh, a coppery uh, I guess you would say orangey type uh, shade in it it's got a little bit of a caramel in it it's got um, like three different shades of teal in it so this is what I'm going to be using for mine and I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use a J hook this time. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So what you're going to do for your triangles is you're going to work it up in multiples of three. Okay, and then you're just going to add one stitch. So let's go um, one, two, three one two three one two three one two three let's see how many do I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve two three so that's fifteen one two three so that's that's eighteen right now um, you know, if you want yours any bigger, you can go a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to do one more set. One, two, three, and then you're going to add one. So that's as wide as my scarf will be. Okay? So, um, you know, you can use any size hook that you want to make your triangles. You can go as wide as you want if you're making a scarf. Um, anything like that. So, and let me do add, this is an intermediate pattern. So, um, if you want to try this and you're a beginner, that's up to you, but this is intermediate skilled. So, for foundation row, we are going to do a single crochet and starting with the second from the hook, and you will work that single crochet all the way across, and you will have a basic single crochet foundation row to begin with. Um, this is beautiful yarn. I actually have it in another shade as well. Um, it's like uh, red, white, pinks um, that just kind of fade off in their colors, which are some of my most uh, favorite things to work with are your ombres and um, ch uh, color changers and um, different yarns like that that have their own uh, bleed into their own colors and fade into different shades I love those 
a lot. And of course, teals and blues and uh, browns are always my favorite to work with. All right, so our foundation row being completed. Okay, that's what you'll have so far. And now what you're going to do is you're going to turn and we're going to do row one. So what we're going to do is chain up four. All right. So now what you're going to do to make our triangle is you're going to skip the first stitch. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and go into this next stitch. You're going to grab, grab your yarn, pull up. Okay, and you're going to do it again. So grab your yarn, go in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. Do it again, grab your yarn, go in your next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. You want to do that until you have seven hoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you want to yarn over now, and you're going to pull through all of those. All right, so that's going to make your triangle. Now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two. Now the twist on this is you're going to actually work into the post or the stitch of the last triangle on every one of these okay so yarn over go into that last stitch that you were using and grab your yarn pull up yarn over go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull up yarn over go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull up one two three four five six seven yarn over pull through all of those Ugh, I'll have to do that again. Let me catch right back up with you. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over, pull through all of those. Now you're going to do a chain two after each one of those triangles, okay? So now you have two. So you're going to do that all the way across. And make sure you start in the one you ended with that last um, double crochet on that last peak. So you're going to go into there, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, go in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, and you'll do that until you have seven hoops on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull through all of those and chain two. Okay, see how you're making your triangles? And you'll just do that all the way across. until you get to the um, very last stitch and you see how that's working up okay so do that until you get to the very last stitch and I will catch right, up guys we're at the last uh, triangle here so now what you want to do in this very last stitch is you're just going to do a simple half double crochet in the end stitch okay so pull through and through now what you want to do is you want to turn your work all right and then row two we are going to chain one and right here into that top stitch you're going to do a single crochet and in the gap you will do one single crochet as well now you're going to skip the stitch that is you know your um, tie together stitch right here at the top of your peak and you're going to go into the, all the chain two spaces and do nothing but two single crochet in each one of those so you're going to skip that and you're going to go into the chain two spaces and do two single crochet all the way across just do not go into those stitches that are at the top of the triangles you don't want to go into those so this is a very simple row. You're putting two single crochet in each chain two space. And I have a knot in my yarn. So I've always got something going on with my yarn. Okay, so just finish these chain or these uh, single crochets. It's just two in each space. There's nothing difficult there. Okay, and in the end space you will do the same. And then into that second um, chain you will do a single crochet. 
Okay, that finishes up that row. Now, believe it or not, you're going to turn, and all you're going to do is go back to row one, which is this row here. You'll chain four, and you'll start over again. You'll skip that first one, and then you'll just start making your triangles again. So you'll go in, yarn over, go into the next one, yarn over, go into the next one. And you should have seven on your, ho on your hook. Pull through, make that triangle, chain two. Make sure you go into that last stitch there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in the, 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 next, the, the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull through, seven hoops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all, and then chain two. And you'll just keep doing that over and over until you get to the end. And then you'll chain two. And again, just like I said, looking at it, you would say that's not going to be as easy as she says it is. But it's very simple. And I found it to be very addictive. That's why um, I'm doing a scarf for myself before the big time winters hit here in Iowa. So. And this yarn is, doesn't look, it's not chunky yarn, but it's very nice and thick. It's heavy yarn. And I'm a big fan of universal yarn, so. Okay, and you just keep going. Making those triangles and chaining two. You should be at the last one here. Chain up. At that last one, you're only going to be chaining up one, and then you're going to do that half double crochet at the end. Okay? And then you'll turn, chain one, and do that single crochet right there in the very end. And then you'll do a single crochet into that space gap. And then the rest of the chain, in that chain two space, you will do two single crochet and each one across. And that just makes a foundation row for you to build uh, your next set row of triangles. I almost feel like I'm cheating on this pattern because it's so simple. Okay, at the end, do your two here and then finish up, put a single crochet into that last chain. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so again, that is your triangle stitch pattern, and you just keep repeating that. Um, so if you need to go back and rewind the video, you can do so, but other than that, it's just going to simply repeat itself. So I do hope you do something with um, this stitch as I am, and once this uh, beautiful scarf is complete, I will post it and let uh, you see this on my Facebook if you are part of that. Um, if you're not, you can certainly be. I will post the link, as always, at the bottom of my videos. And until then, guys, have a great day and happy hooking!